Today, on the 22nd of November, an unfortunate incident occurred at Mukro village in West Jenthi Hills district, where six persons have died due to firing by Assam police and Assam forest guards. I would like to express my deepest condolences to the bereaved families who have lost their loved ones. As per the reports, a truck carrying timber was pursued by the forest, by the Assam forest guards with the Assam police and was detained by the Assam police and Assam forest guards at Mukro village in West Jente Hills district. On hearing this, people from Mukro village gathered in large numbers and surrounded the Assam police and Assam forest guards. This led to firing by the Assam police in which five persons from Meghalaya died, one person, one Assam forest guard also died due to the firing. The injured persons have been shifted to Boroto PHC and Yalong Civil Hospital. On hearing of the incident, the district magistrate, the superintendent of police and other magistrates rushed to the spot. Inquest has been conducted by the magistrate. The Honorable Home Minister, Government of Meghalaya, has also reached the spot of the incident. An FIR has been registered by the Meghalaya Police. The names of the deceased who died on the spot are number one, Thal Shadab, male, 45 years. Number two, Nikashi Dhar, male, 65 years. Number three, Sik Talang, male, 55 years. And number four, one unknown male forest guard of the government of Assam. The names of those who succumbed to their injuries in the hospital are Number one, Tal Nartyang, male, 40 years, who died at Boroto. Number two, Chirup Sumer, male, 40, who died at Jawai. The state government strongly condemns the incident wherein the Assam police and Assam forest guards entered Meghalaya and resorted to unprovoked firing. Government of Meghalaya will take all steps possible to ensure that justice is done and action is taken against all those responsible for this inhuman act. As a mark of respect and mourning for the deceased, the state government has decided to cancel all official festivals, including the Cherry Blossom Festival. An ex gratia compensation of rupees 5 lakhs each to the next of kin of the deceased shall be released. The Cabinet will be meeting today in the evening at 5.30 to take and decide on the next course of action which the Government of Meghalaya will take in respect to this particular incident that took place. At this point in time, I would like to appeal to all the citizens of the state to pray for the departed souls and especially for the families who have lost their loved ones. I would also like to appeal the citizens of the state to maintain peace and harmony in the state 
The state government is taking all steps necessary to ensure that law and order is maintained in the state. We also would like to pray for all those families, especially, who have lost their loved ones and those whose family members have been injured in this incident. Just before this press conference, we have called different leaders from our traditional heads, Rangbashnongs, our religious leaders from different religious groups, and different members of civil society and different NGOs to discuss, to appeal, to inform them, and to ask them that we need to stand together in these difficult times as a state and as citizens. These are challenging times, but with society and with all of us being together, we will overcome this situation. And as I mentioned, the government of Meghalaya will be firm and will take necessary action, whatever that is required, to ensure that justice is done and those people who are responsible for this are action are taken against them.